Representative Catlin. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an honor to serve with you. And an honor to serve with you. Thank you. Members, we have a, a very special guest in the chamber with us this morning, the Butterfly Pavilion Ambassador, Rosie, the Chilean rose-haired tarantula, <laughs> and her royal handler, Sharan Herskovich, Butterfly Pavilion's entomologist <laughs> manager. Uh, over three million people have had the honor of holding Rosie, who, by the way, is 15 years old. Welcome her to the chamber. <laughs> if one can hold Rosie, one can do anything. <laughs> Rep Lindstedt. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I am very, very impressed to serve with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. Thanks, Ray. I, I, I also want to announce uh, we have the Butterfly Pavilion CEO, Patrick Tennyson, here. We also have their VP of Science and Conservation, Dr. Rich Reading. And we have Alex Parker, their campaign coordinator. So if you could all welcome them to the house here. <laughs> and, Representative Catlin. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, you do have a lot more nerve than I thought you did. <laughs> it's an honor to serve with you. Thank you. <laughs> Members, just to tell, you know, to fill you in a little bit, one of every three bites of food that we eat are made possible by invertebrates. And it's usually the best bites. Chocolate, coffee, peaches, strawberries, and tomatoes. Sunflower and canola plants require pollination for their seeds and oil for cooking. If you want to be surrounded by the big vertebrate animals that we love, birds, bats, fish, and frogs, for example, we've got to have the little invertebrate animals they depend on as their primary food source. For 28 years, the, buffalo, the butterfly pavilion has helped us see invertebrates for who they are. The butterfly pavilion leads the world in changing the way people understand invertebrates. Through global, through global research and intimate experiences, they've changed people's minds. This is the butterfly pavilion's job, so the next time you see a butterfly flutter en route to pollinate a spring bouquet, you, you can know the necessity, appreciate the beauty, and celebrate the hidden heroes of the animal kingdom. I want to leave you with one thing. Exoskeletons are carrying the weight of the world. So when you look at them, think about that. We need them badly. Representative Lindstedt. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to acknowledge this incredible organization here today. Um, and I want to make sure you all get the invitation. On April 26th, the Butterfly Pavilion will be here at the Capitol with many of their invertebrates. So come and, and stop by on the morning of, of the 26th and meet some of the staff and, and learn more about um, our, the, their incredible invertebrates. So thank you. Thank you, members. Thank, thank you. you, Rosie. <laughs> Announcements? Oh.